Hello and welcome back. For the next session, we are heading to Italy, and it's my great pleasure to welcome the founder and CEO of Origa, Vincento Fiore. Good morning, Vincento. Good morning. Let me introduce myself. I'm Vincenzo Fiore, CEO and founder of Auriga. And almost 30 years ago, I thought there must be a better way to manage branches, to make them a better place to deliver services that customers need. Specifically, I want to make self-service banking more helpful to customers and to be a source of revenue and customer engagement for banks. I, and I saw the ATM as the first and maybe the greatest example of fintech. But it is not enough. It is only the start of self-service banking. There is so much more to do. We needed to help banks maximize its value and to add the value of better self-service technology to support efficient, profitable branch banking. And it's here that assisted self-service device play a winning role. It offers more functions within the self-service area. It enables staff to focus on higher value functions that improve quality of service. Today, thanks to my colleagues' hard work and skill, Auriga is a global player in a software solution for self-service and omnichannel banking. We have grown from our Italian roots to be working with clients across Europe, the Americas and now APAC. I'm passionate about how we can partner with banks to solve their challenges. That's why it was so significant for us to acquire LDM this year. We have now fully integrated their cybersecurity in our solution. It lets us help banks secure their ATMs with best-in-class cybersecurity. We are proud to be stepping forward to help defend banks and their customers. Having said that, what I want to talk about today is how banks can size the digitization opportunity in their branch transformation strategy. Digitization is getting ever, ever faster. And I believe now it's time for banks to take a real lead and use innovative technology to redesign their customer engagement strategies and to generate more value to the next generation branch, maybe smaller in number and scale, but they will be smarter, more customer oriented and better located. So how does technology matter in the next generation branch? As we all know, banks are in whirlwind of change. That's not new, but the speed of the wind is faster. The disruption is stronger than before. And sadly, the reason for this acceleration is, of course, COVID-19 and the public health measures. Quite simply, pandemic is making more people change how they bank. Many branches are being closed. Those that are open have limited the opening hours. Many services are by appointment only. Staff are working from home. At the same time, customers are being told to cut an essential travels. They aren't going to the center of town where their banks are. Footfall on shopping streets is falling. In a world Branch banking is disrupted like never before. The result, if they weren't before, customers are shifting their banking to digital channels. We all know this from personal experience, I imagine. How our parents, grandparents are finally doing digital banking. As a company, we experience it too. In Italy, we have worked with its customers to be COVID secure, to remain a lifeline for long financial services. We have assisted banks to do much more digital self-service in branch banking. Digital self-service make their branches more automated for health security reasons. It minimizes physical contacts between colleagues and customers. 
and keep vital services open. What's the cumulative effects? There are some interesting statistics now appearing. This suggests change in customer habits. EY Consumer Index revealed 43% of customers said their banking habits had changed because of COVID-19. Will this effect of COVID-19 be permanent or temporary? Like the end of pandemic, it's too early to say. And in a year of uncertainty, no one can, or perhaps should make accurate forecasts. What is clear is that the pace of branch transformation isn't slowing down. COVID has made it go faster. Analysts at Kearney looked at the future of retail banking in Europe after COVID. Their study contains some bleak forecasts. One in four bank branches will close in Europe over the next three years. That's 40,000 locations closing forever. Of course, branch network transformation is part of a long-term trend, and uh, this has been driven by changing customer expectations. Like our online shopping, we want our banking service to be 24-7, for there to be no delays, for there to be instant gratification. In a world, it is making banking a frictionless experience that doesn't hold us back. For customers, digital is the first channel for them. No surprise then that Kearney's European Retail Banking Radar revealed that 7 out of 10 accounts openings deposit, consumer loans, and credit cards application will be digital. Despite this, the branch remains key. This is because it answers a critical social role. Customers expect banks to be social, responsible, and guarantee services to the whole community. Let's look again at the UI index. More than half of customers said their future purchasing decision will be affected if they see banks actively supporting the community. They expect banks to do good for wider society. The strength of feeling about banks' social purpose is very strong. 44% say purchasing decision will be negatively impacted if they see banks focusing on maximizing profits now. The social purpose of banks breaks down into three areas. One, the good service they give people, the support and services assurance to access of, to banking. The branch is seen as a safe and secure place. Two, the good they give to business responsiveness and access to services to help business survive and thrive. And three is the most sensitive, the value they give to the health of the whole community, how the presence of a bank is magnet for growth and stability. Again, two things that are so vital today. So, do banks do all of this? Be digital and work the talk of social purpose. How do they remain always accessible, secure, and customer-oriented? It is about understanding what are going to be prime drivers for retail banking. These drivers aren't mysterious. Bank must keep on cutting unnecessary costs and maximize efficiency. At the same they must also create new streams of revenue and drive profitability. As the pandemic made so stark, banks need to get closer to their customers. They must prioritize ways to improve customer loyalty and enhance the bank's visible role in their communities. And finally, banks must maintain accessibility to financial services where the demand is high. Yes, this can be about access to cash, but it is also about access to financial services. For these drivers, technology has a pivotal role. 
AI and machine learning can make processes more efficient. Smart automation reduce OPEX. When well-made chatbots can save time and boring tasks and free stuff to add value. Some AI can help to make banking more human. The AI can be better at detecting customers' emotional state. It can nudge its human banking co-worker to say the right thing. And when you want to reduce the cost of banking, cloud computing makes a huge difference. It makes banking banks more agile and flexible. For example, cloud-based architecture makes managing self-service devices significantly more cost-effective and productive. And as banks seek to build trust in digital, cybersecurity technology becomes more important. Banks are a target. Cybersecurity prevents and reduces the damages for attacks, protects staffs and customers for breaches. So, in a broad way, technology helps banks drive positive change. What's the potential for technology to grow next generation bank branch? We know the number of branches will be much lower than in the past. But technology can guarantee a better banking experience where customers' demand is strongest. A good example is the uh, Millennium BCP in Portugal. Yes, they have trimmed their branch network. Some branches have closed. Others are being reimagined for what customers want. They have created branches that offer a 24-7 self-service banking. This includes their Millennium Teller machine, the MTM. This lets customers take control of their banking. Via the MTM, there is access to the bank full service set. And with video banking securely integrated, customers can get human assistance when they need it. Co-browsing lets human advisor guide the customer on screen. Millennium is thinking very carefully where these new remote branches are located. Remote banks need to be uh, convenient for customers, so they are in shopping centers and places where people need access to services. Millennium is a great example of what you can do with remote banking. Technology can make this a richer alternative to traditional branch banking. What you can do with remote banking technology is limitless. Using audio and video banking channels, the branches through a digital video terminal, banks can offer a wealth of assistance and consultancy. What's powerful about this remote branch banking? Technology is how it suits the needs of all their customers. It gives them reassurance. They can request assistance from a consultant remotely to complete the transaction if needed. The customer care specialist initiates an audio and or a video conversation and requests remote control authorization. This allows them to guide the customer and fill out uh, from fields to complete their requests. How far can you go to create greater customer experience in the next generation banks? Make it a coffee shop is one answer. As an Italian, I like coffee shops. This is what some banks are doing with their flagship branches. The very Italian bank in Tessa San Paolo adopted a welcoming and well-organized environment. There are additional available services for the customer and the community. Launch area so that customers can use technology while they wait, including laptops, tablets and free Wi-Fi. The branches have a strong connection with the local community. They showcase local business, connect employers with young job seekers and promote local arts and culture. As an entrepreneur, I'm even more impressed by the dedicated business hub in new branches to support small business. There is space for local business to work in. 
Plus, there are business banking advisors available. available. There are services that support a bank social uh, purpose in the community. The list of services at some new branches extend to hosting special financial education events. In some countries, you would expect these extra services in the flagship branch only. Not all branches uh, can be like this. My answer would be yes, many can. In my own country, you see banks in remote communities remodeling their space to offer additional services. And this is possible when technology creates lean branch. What's a lean branch? The definition is simple. A lean branch is a physical location providing banking services. It has been optimized to cut operating costs, to maximize efficiency, maintain high level of customer satisfaction. And it is technology that makes a lean branch feasible. It automates routine banking services and assisted self service are the core. They provide access to full services, cash deposit, withdrawal, form filling. With the lean branch, the saved physical space can be used like the grander flagship branch. Rent out space for business services, offer meeting rooms for community. Indeed, with so many banks workers working from home, their local branch can be a community office hub for them too. With the Lean Branch model, banks can achieve branch profitability once again. This comes from the cost savings and the new revenue streams. Sharing their space and technology with another organization delivers new revenue. That organization can even be another bank brand to offer competitive choice locally. Sharing space also encourages a, an increase in footfall and the well time. The branch becomes more of a destination, a place people want to visit and spend time. So, the opportunities are huge. Technology can help make them happen when banks reimagine what the value of their branch is to the community. What you want to do is tie everything together the next generation branch cannot sit in a technology silo. The investment in technology must deliver omnichannel experiences for the customer. A consistency of high quality service in branch, on cell service terminal, on web, on mobile and vehicle center. The future of bank technologies is how it enables end-to-end -end bank services. As bank fine-tune next generation branch strategy, AI will be important. It will play a bigger role in decision making. For the branch networks, AI and machine learning will be gradually adopted more. AI will step up and be used to do more of repeatable processes. You will also see more use of AI to predict problems. This can be forecasting cash storage much earlier or planning predictive maintenance that preempts an outage and stops unnecessary shutdown. The next decade will be an exciting time for branch transformation. Banks are being doubly tested by pandemic and digital transformation. Branches are not going to go extinct but their numbers will change and how they operate in and for their customer and local communities. I've talked a lot about the trends we are already seeing. What about something new? The massive twin pressure to cut costs and deliver even better services isn't going to stop. One trend that I would expect in 2021 and beyond is more bank sharing their space and services. If banks do not produce lean, smart, remote, around the clock branches, somebody else will, whether it be community-based or independent ATM deployers. And the principle of white label is absolutely part of this new future. 
sharing technology and space is going to be the theme of branch banking in the next few years. Thank you for your time today. Vincenzo, the idea of a lean branch sounds better, more productive and more cost effective than a traditional branch. But how realistic is it? And how long do we need to wait for the technology to be ready to support it? The technology is here to support a lean branch when put on the right software platform. There is no need to wait at all for banks to roll out a lean branches with 24-7 full service digital system. What's essential is having a true multi-vendor software platform that can be deployed across the myriad of hardware choice. What's said the lean branch back before now has been how banks haven't been well organized to take decision across all of their channels. This is changing as banks embrace an omnichannel approach and release the value of the branch as an integral channel. Which are the main trends we should be looking out for in the banking sector in 2021? Well, uh, I touched on this in my speech. Sharing both branches and infrastructure is a big emerging trend. It allows banks to invest in state-of-art self-service technology while controlling cost and delivering access to cash and services when and where customers need them. People exaggregate what AI does in terms of taking jobs. What the real trends for AI in 2021 will be, how it delivers the insight and decisioning to help progress to uh, the customer journey with more personalized offering. AI combined with human talent will be crucial to the data-driven strategies that banks will use to drive for closer customer engagement, efficiency and profitability. There are trends outside the technology that are important too. In some countries, political pressure to protect access to cash will lead to some interesting outcomes. We will see. Thank you so much, Vincento, for your time this morning. It's really great to have you with us at Branch Transformation 2020. Now, if you would like to know more about Origa, then please head over to the exhibition hall where you can find the Origa booth and set up meetings with the various company representatives. Thank you again, Vincento. Have a great show.